Good morning, Shelley, and hello, the world of fundraisers who are watching this and their colleagues and friends. I'm live here with Shelley Davies. She's in um, Queenstown in New Zealand in a hotel, and I am here in Australia. And we are both very, very excited to be going to the Finns Conference, which is the 30th of August to the beginning of September. So we're uh, 1st of September, really looking forward to that conference. And I'm hoping to see you here, here to see you there with Shelley and I, because it's gonna be cracking. Now, Shelley, you're one of the key speakers. Um, I've seen you, um, uh, I was gonna say on TV, but on TED, <laughs> on TEDx. Um, and I mean, straight away, you're catching us with brilliant titles for all of your things, writing joy and badassery. And of course, your session at Finns is going to be called Lessons in Badassery. So tell us a little bit about yourself and why you can get away with calling things Lessons in Badassery. <laughs> Basically, well, first of all, kia ora, Sean, thank you um, for, for having me. Awesome to meet you and have a quick chat. Basically, I can get away with it because when ideas pop into my head and I'm like, hmm, I wonder what would happen if I put badassery in the name of my brand? Hmm, well, I won't know if I don't try it. So then I try it and I wait and see what happens. And you know what? When I did that, I got three new government clients. <laughs> that is a surprise. You wouldn't think that that three would work on governments, would it? But there you go. Cool. And what kind of clients then in government would be working with you? What are they talking to you about? So, so my I, I do two things which may seem unrelated, right? I teach people how to write better at work. And that is all about plain language and clear communications. And that's really about writing with empathy and about writing with a powerful voice. That's where you come over into the other stuff that I do, which is what I'm going to be talking about on stage. I don't know if you can hear the wind I can. howling down here. Very exciting. It's like a hurricane. We just need some lightning and thunder now. Yeah. So that, would be, that would be perfect. Um, when you are writing clearly, you have to trust your authentic voice a little bit more. And so probably over the last 10 years of training people how to do that, I've become more authentic. I've become more powerful in my world. And that is what just brings me joy on stage. I'm like, you're going to give me an audience and you're going to pay me to talk to people. I'm just <laughs> in my happy place now. Well, brilliant. I have seen you on stage and you were excellent and did command the audience and were having a bit of fun. So that was really good uh, on what could be a pretty dry topic. I mean, you were talking about credit card um, uh, you know, the conditions with credit cards and things like that. I'm like, wow, that sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I've got this really strong academic background. I've taught at universities in New Zealand and in the United States. I've been a writer from way back, master's degree, all the jazz, all the publishing and editing. And it was only 10 years ago that I learned about this thing called plain language. And I've been running my business since then. And I work with companies from the oil and gas industry, from construction, through to local government, through to... Um, you know, Ministry for the Environment and um, and MB and I'm, I just did some training with Corrections last week wow. and then I get to work with companies like Trade Me and Air New Zealand and so it really to me it doesn't matter what sector you're in we are humans communicating with other humans and as soon as we step out of that then we lose the connection we lose the connection when we can think about who exactly we are talking to and what it is that we want them to feel which is so important in fundraising then we can communicate with them like a human and all of a sudden everything starts getting better. That's really interesting, isn't it? Because I, I just think about Air New Zealand and how they completely revolutionized safety videos by talking to us like human beings. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's good that they're a client because they seem to be really interested in communicating better, which is awesome. Absolutely. So how, uh, now, fundraisers, and there'll be lots of fundraisers in the audience and some CEOs and boards and, and people who are generally working in the charity industry. So we know it's really important to write in warm, emotional, engaging language in our letters to donors, you know, um, telling them stories about a little kid and, um, and you know, sharing the both the, the, the heartache and the joy um, that charities are working in every day and we're pretty good at that um so i think um could always be better so what are we going to learn from you beyond um we should write nice warm direct mail letters <laughs> yeah well spoiler alert in my keynote actually i'm not going to talk that much about writing 
I'm going to talk about lessons in badassery. And that might sound fairly audacious. What, Shelley thinks she's a badass? Um, (laughs) My last 10 years of my life have just been this huge transition. I walked away from a really conservative religion that I was raised in, five generations in, actually. And I just started exploring the world differently. And it's been the most mind-blowing journey of... um, learning more and more about myself and feeling stronger and stronger in myself. And the clear communication piece was very much a part of that because every time I was training people to be clearer in what it was they wanted to say and to communicate more authentically, which often means more vulnerably, I was becoming more authentic, more vulnerable and way more powerful in my world. So I've got my fun wee book that literally just went on sale a a few days ago. (laughs) I'm so excited, called Lessons in Badassery. And um, I didn't even know that it was gonna be on sale before the conference. Um, You know, it's taken years to get to this point, thanks COVID. Uh, But I'm gonna just share some lessons that have helped me become powerful in my world. Because if there's anything that we need today, it's how to be resilient, how to cope with shit right? Mm. Because that's what life does. It throws shit at us. And yes, I'm a swearer. So, you know, maybe if you want to come and hear somebody who talks like a real human and doesn't just put on a nice polished presentation, that's what you're going to get from me. And in addition to doing the keynote, I've got a couple of workshops. One of those is completely writing focused. And the other one is called how to have boundaries like a mofo. Right. That sounds very um, naughty. (laughs) Straight away. That's good. I don't know what mofo is. So that's great (laughs) to hear that you'll be doing that. Let's just leave it there. I Uh, won't say it here. Um, So that's really, uh, really good stuff. I'm so excited. And especially around the the banastry stuff. So um, just to change the tone a wee bit, um, I I think it's great. I'm really enjoying your company. But bringing it down a bit, I work a lot with a lot of uh, fundraisers and there's a lot of kind of workplace bullying and disrespect mm-hmm. for fundraising um, in, in, you know, people will, fundraisers will know best practice, but they'll be, no, we can't do it like that. You've got to do it like this. I know better from people who aren't fundraisers. So with that, that kind of courage and um, badassery is going to be really, really helpful for uh, probably more people than you'd imagine. In It's a beautiful sector to work in. It's wonderful. But there, we, I think we really need, do need quite a bit of help uh, on those areas as well. So some I support think, there would be really helpful. I think humans are human, no matter what sector we're in, no matter where we are, right? And so you get the human dynamics and then you get power dynamics. And, and we, we aren't always our best selves given whatever context we're in, right? And so that's when some of those behaviors and things come out. I'm excited to do the workshop about boundaries for that reason because whether it's in your personal private life, whether it's at work, whether it's in your community, for us to remain well, we have to have boundaries. In fact, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Brene Brown's work and if people haven't heard of her, they should definitely look her up, but I'm sure they have because she's Brene Brown. Um, Her research tells us that the people who are the most compassionate, and you are a compassionate industry, right? Mm -hmm. all about compassion. The people who are most compassionate are also the most boundaried because boundaries are what make our compassion sustainable. Mm. We can continue to have compassion and not have compassion fatigue and all that stuff when we have boundaries in place. And so we would think that being super generous and super giving and super compassionate and, and empathetic is all about the giving, 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 but we have to have the safety mechanisms in place so that we can be well, so that we can continue to live our lives in the way that we want to be as compassionate people. So I'm excited about that. I'm me too. And that would be really helpful. Thank you. Because it is, it literally is an industry built on love. I mean, people donate yeah. from a place of love. And it's yeah. and that's who the wonderful people that we fundraisers get to work with. Well, mm-hmm. thank you very much, Shelley. I'm certainly really excited and interested to hear you. Um, and I will be there, um, COVID permitting. It's like, oh, um, so I'm really excited. 30th of August to 1st of September. If you haven't got your ticket yet, then please log in. I'll put the link um, on the on the on the Facebook page. And please come along to Finns Conference. It's in Wellington. Uh, it's going to be windy, but it's going to be great. So please come along. And, and um, so thank you very very much, Shelley, for your time today and for your time at the conference.
Awesome. Ka kite o ia koutou, a I will see you all soon. Thank you. I'll see you soon. <laughs>